In this video, I'll be covering the 10 autism facts that you should definitely know. Coming up. Hey, I'm Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. I make weekly videos on autism, so consider subscribing to learn more. So the facts I'll be covering in this video, you may find so interesting and so brand new that you will be shocked and surprised that you never even heard of these before. Ah, welcome back, Aspie World fam, the most accepting family on YouTube. We don't care about your ability, gender, race, background, culture, whatever. You're here because you want to make a difference, and that's awesome. So hey, why not hit that subscribe button and become a part of this most accepting family on YouTube. So it's good to be back from VidCon. Um, this is like uh, weird being back from VidCon. I kind of miss it but uh, I'll be there next year so make sure that you guys keep up to date with me with all my socials in the description below and uh, yeah let's let's hang out in VidCon next year. Let me know in the comments if you're excited to see vlogs from VidCon and I'll be posting those well, if I get a good response. Okay, so here we go. 10 autism facts that you should know. Number one, autism is a social and communication disorder. That's basically how it's categorized because people who have autism have an issue with communications and social communications. This is key to knowing all about autism. Number two, now people with Asperger syndrome, which is on the autism spectrum, actually have typically a above average IQ, which basically means that they're typically into like maths, music, uh, engineering, and, and physics, and stuff like that because of their ability to understand things of that complex nature. Number three, lots of famous people also have an autism spectrum condition like Dan Aykroyd, Bill Gates, and Adam Young from the band Owl City. These people all have an autism spectrum condition, uh, but they're super famous and they're awesome in their careers, so that's something to be super proud of. So number four, this is kind of a cool one. Autism isn't specific to age or gender. A lot of people back in the day used to think that females weren't able to be on the autism spectrum, but this is clearly not true because there are lots of females who are on the spectrum and although men or boys are three times as likely to get a diagnosis of autism than the females, um, this doesn't mean that the females don't have it and doesn't mean that as many females don't have it, it just means that they don't diagnose as many females as it they do males at the moment. Okay, number five, autism isn't caused by vaccines or pollution or diet, and it's more than likely something that's hereditary or genetic, but we still don't even know yet. Science doesn't know what causes it. And if you wanna see more about the causes and not causes of autism, I did a video about that, which I'll leave in the description below or in the card above here so you can check that out. Okay, so number six, autism is in fact the fastest growing developmental disorder in the whole of the United States, and that's a pretty big country. Okay, so for all you research buffs out there who may be watching this video to learn a little bit more about autism for the history side of it. Autism was first introduced in the 1940s, I think around about 1943, by Dr. Leo Kanner and at the same time Hans Asperger was conducting almost identical research on this specific subject um, in another part of the world which is fascinating. So both of these men came up with this uh, diagnostic process of this, this syndrome uh, pretty much at the exact same time so it's worth checking out both if you want to learn more. Okay, so number eight, there is no known cure for autism because I guess half of the battle is that they don't know what causes it. There's no way they can even think about curing it, but the idea to cure it because it's a neurological condition is almost impossible when you try and think of it. Um, and a lot of people come up with ideas that they, they found a cure to autism, which is dangerous stuff, and I would highly recommend staying away from any of that information if you see it online, but there is no known cure for autism and they don't really know what causes it. Okay, so number nine, autism actually comes a lot of the time with comorbid conditions and this means that it comes alongside something else so somebody with an autism spectrum condition may also have ADHD or like OCD or some other condition like learning disabilities or something else along the way it seems to mostly harbor around those things like autism spectrum conditions are a lot of the time comorbid okay so number 10 now I love keeping the juiciest one and the most interesting one until last and I found that this is super super interesting uh, when I came across this fact it actually kind of surprised me and I didn't know about this uh, and I should have known about it earlier when I was doing my research but I found this super super fascinating so number 10 here we go autism used to be called early infantile autism or 
Kanner syndrome from Leo Kanner who did the, the study and I find this fascinating that it's now just shortened to autism and I always find, like to find the history and the background of something and where it all comes from and uh, I had loads and loads of fun actually researching these facts and putting these in there for you in a video format let me know down below which one you thought was the most exciting or most interesting one and if you have any comments to add which add some more awesome facts to autism pop them in the comments down below and I will have that discussion with you I'll see you next time guys peace